Squatters here on GameSpot's live stage show at Comic-Con 2013. Joining me is a guy, if you watched E3 coverage, you would have seen him. Aaron and I met there. He's a brand manager for Sonic the Hedgehog. Maybe you've heard of him, one of gaming's <laughs> biggest icons. Uh, Aaron, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Good to be here. How's the, uh, how's the Blue Blur doing here at Comic-Con? Well, Sonic is doing great. We've uh -huh. got Sonic Lost World all over the place here. and I've, you, I hear a few people actually seen Sonic walking around here at Comic-Con. Oh, really? Yeah, so rumor has it he might be showing up and maybe Mario will make an appearance at some point. I, I don't know. It's are crazy. they going to compete in feats of strength and agility? And agility and, and Olympic <laughs> stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, I got to yeah. tell you, I was watching around the show floor on preview night yes looking for my t-shirts and uh one of the booths was selling a belt buckle that had i had a sonic like spinner yes. like it was yes. him curled up and then you would spin the thing and the little He's sonic doing like logo a spin, spin dash right yeah. yeah i've seen that i'm glad that you know about it i didn't yes. like just rat these guys out and you're gonna go over there and drop the, <laughs> that, the that, brand management hammer that on is them. officially licensed so i encourage everyone if you want a custom <laughs> sonic belt buckle does a spin dash go get it that's yeah. cool they got it here on the show floor <laughs> uh but sonic lost worlds we took a look at it during e3 and we saw some of the new levels um, you guys are showing off. We're going to take a quick look at those again just to sort of see how they're coming along. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so give us a place here. I mean, is this, Absolutely. you know, we're in the Green Hill Zone again? Yeah, so we're taking a look. This is the updated Windy Hill Zone. It's got a lot of nostalgic references to kind of Green Hill. And as you can see, the level itself is completely three-dimensional. So we can go on top of the level. We can go underneath the level. And that's something It's a that's, giant tube. It is. And the piranhas. Gotta love them. <laughs> and those fish, yeah. And that snail. And all these robots you're seeing are references to badniks from previous Sonic games. Mm -hmm. um, I know we talked about it previously, but for those people that maybe haven't seen that interview, the biggest thing that we've changed is Sonic's speed. So when you walk around, that's normal speed. When you hold the right trigger, he goes into a run speed. And when you're running, you can do parkour moves now. So you can run on walls, you can run up walls, you can vault over objects like that. There's the oh, wall nice runs. Done. And so that's really awesome for us in that we've really changed the Sonic formula to allow the player to keep going, to have constant momentum. So you don't like hit a tree or hit a wall, it's like dead stop anymore. Because a lot uh -huh. of people are like, I can't control Sonic when he goes super fast. And, and people love going fast, right? But sure. how fun is it if you can't control the game? There's, there needs to be a limit right. to this fastness. I'm glad you guys are, you know, yeah, sort of getting to the point absolutely. where you can, you know, calibrate it right. So it creates that kind of gameplay where you can appreciate the speed, but also you don't feel like the speed is overwhelming or like up exactly. on top of you. Exactly. And that's that's the big thing with this is like speed is your reward, right? If you know what you're doing, you can really take off and do a great job. But if you just run around going as fast as you can without knowing where you're going, you're going to hit a trap or a spike or something like that. So, um, <laughs> And now we're just demonstrating that by sprinting directly and now, through the tree. So oh, no, he's example. trying to do that. Okay. So, <laughs> That's a great example right there. So if you're doing the spin dash, for example, which is the fastest move you can do in the game, uh -huh. you can't parkour. So there are certain penalties, in, in a sense, for trying to use that spin dash or just abuse that to constantly go really fast. You have to be using the run to trigger the parkour in the game, which is kind of a nice tweak, I think. Um, here, you can actually see some stuff popping up there. That's a tutorial option popping up. Oh, OK, yeah, because we're and playing this on the Wii U. Yet. That's right. That's is right. Is this a Wii U exclusive? It is actually a Nintendo exclusive. Nintendo so exclusive. it's on the Wii U and it's on the 3DS. Probably the coolest Sonic part about that. Sonic the Hedgehog that. Nintendo exclusive. I know, right? How's that and children of the 90s? I know. <laughs> I grew up in the 90s, yeah. man. I was like the kid on the playground, like, man, Sonic all the way. And then Crouching I would go home and play Mario. Crouching down and making buzzing but... noises, like, I'm going to go so fast <laughs> when I stand up. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. So it's, it's actually really exciting for us. I mean. Sega has announced a three-title partnership with Nintendo, yep. and the first game in that series is the Mario and Sonic game. It's coming out this fall, and then the second game is Sonic Lost World, and the third game I can't talk about yet. Third That's game is still a secret. Mystery game. Still a secret, yes, but stay tuned. We know everyone's very curious about that. Uh -huh. um, so right here in this part of the level, we're kicking this bell around. This is like a collectible, or will become a collectible if we can hit it enough times. It's like a mini challenge in the level. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. and as he goes up the tree here, it's going to turn into a red star ring. And that's one of five collectibles in every level are those red star rings. And so that's adds a lot of replay value to want to go back and keep checking out a level and keep finding those red star rings. And later on in the game, that's going to unlock some stuff. I won't say what just yet, but at some point. I was going to say, go. what's the reward? You know, I mean, <laughs> there, you know, there triumphing is over adversity is its own reward to some extent. But it is, yeah. this is, you guys, you guys have got stuff in store. Uh, Absolutely. This is a, like, this looks like a giant water wheel, windmill type Something situation. Something like that, yeah. And you notice he just did the parkour up that wall. Uh -huh. Just like that right there. He's doing it again. And Sonic can grab onto the ledges, as he's demonstrating right there. And those ledges are kind of nice, because previous Sonic games, you would get up to a ledge, and then you would hit it. And if like if you weren't landing on top of it, you just fall straight down. Yeah. And sometimes, Sonic's to, your, sometimes not, to your death. Sonic's not trying to reach out and grab something, but now he is. 
Now he is. He's reaching out, and uh, it's really nice in, for those clutch moments when you are missing a ledge and you're, you're falling off. And you're like, oh man, and he grabs on, and you're like, oh thank goodness, that can finally happen in a Sonic game. So it's been a long time. Um, as we go through this level, we're going to take a look at another section. This is like a completely optional section, and that's kind the of an important world. thing. The cloud world. Bouncing on the marshmallow clouds. Oh, I like that glimpse you get of the planet below. That's yeah. kind of uh, disorienting, but also, you know, adds this cool perspective that, like, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm hopping around on clouds, like, a mile just above the, the world. That's fine. It's no, no big thing, you know, no, just, just bouncing around. Just another day That's right. in the life of Sonic the Hedgehog. And Sonic has always had some really interesting and unique and, and out there levels in previous games. You know, you'd go from a giant casino level to ice cap zone in like Sonic 3, right? So casino to snowy Snowboarding. mountain. Yeah, right? Yes. And so it was really nice in this game. We've got a lot of levels like that too, where you'll be going through and maybe it says desert ruin zone, right? And you're like, okay, it's going to be a desert ruin. Yeah, maybe right? see some pyramids maybe. Yeah, yeah, right? And some sand, maybe a lot of sand. And yep. then you get in the level and it's like, oh, there's candy everywhere and donuts and stacks of pancakes in the background. And you're like, oh, wait a minute, this isn't the desert ruins. It's the dessert ruins? And then the little S pops up on the screen. Oh. It's added in, it says dessert ruins. And so That's cute. It's it's kind of nice to, to have a Sonic game where there's so much personality and extra polish added into it. You know, and this is one of those games, we've been working on this game since uh, Sonic Generations was mm -hmm. coming out a couple years ago. This has been in development, so it, they've been working on this for a very, very long time. Um, and the game itself really shows that kind of polish. We've got the wisps here from Sonic Colors. Oh, yes, those, those adorable guys little wisps. Oh, those little guys. And so here we actually use the gamepad to control and aim the wisp, and then we fire off just like that, and he'll go through those prisms, and by going through the prisms, he avoids all the traps, gets to the very end of the level right there just like that. And every whisk that you find, there's tons of them, not just the laser that we saw there. There's one called the Asteroid, which breaks down objects and enemies and uh -huh. swirls them around you, and it's really, really awesome. Ooh. Just You don't even have to fight the enemies. You just like run into them, and, and all the particles just break apart and swirl. Yeah, It's a very satisfying feeling I against like the it. larger enemies. Uh huh. So that's the first level, and we'll, we'll take a look at that candy level next. And it said thank you for playing at the end. Are you guys de got the demo going here at Comic-Con? We, we do. We've got the demo here at the Sega Arcade, uh -huh. which is actually just down the street from us right here. Okay. We've got it inside the con at the Archie booth, and then we're also over at the Nintendo area with Sonic. So. At the Archie booth? The Archie. Did you, did you know? Ready? Here's some trivia. I like that. Sonic the Hedgehog is the longest running video game comic book in history. Really? Really. There's a long-running Sonic comic book. Really, and in Not fact, it has grown to such extent now that there are two. There's both Sonic the Hedgehog and one called Sonic Universe, and they both run parallel. Uh -huh. And Archie does all of them. So we've been working with them for, gosh, ever since the early 90s. I, I read those comics as a kid, man. And it's they're still cool. going strong. And they're still going. Wow. So it's surreal to kind of get to work on some of those now. So I'm plenty older. of opportunities for folks who are Sonic fans who want to get their hands on the game here at Comic-Con for them to do that. Uh, have you? Stop by any of these booths, watch watch some people play it in the wild. Absolutely, absolutely. And and that's one of the most exciting things for me personally is, you know, when you when you see a game like this and from an early stage you're giving feedback on it and working with the many teams at Sega to really make it a game that you can be proud of, and then you finally get that moment when the, the consumer gets out there and they get their hands on it and you, it's like that almost like nervous moment like all right, what's what he going to do? How's he, he, he going to react? Gonna is he going to get it? <laughs> and so whenever someone walks away with a big smile on their face and they're like, that was awesome. That, that's one of the most rewarding feelings I think you can have working on video games, to know that someone really enjoyed your game and you saw it right there in front of you. Really satisfying. I believe it. I are, yeah. this, this is the dessert. This, this is that candy ruins. level, yeah, the dessert I was talking about. And we've, <laughs> we've showed this level off a little bit. Uh, yeah. Eagle-eyed fans that have been watching the other interviews are going to notice we have made some changes here. There's some different camera angles, a few other tweaks, and some polish we've added in. Um, right there, he's taking another alternate path. Just overall, in general, we've been going through the entire game and, and really adding that polish. You know, that's what happens in the final stage of game development. You're trying to make it as good as it can be, and that's where we are. And you guys are drawn to, towards the close, right, of development. This we game are. is slated for later we, this year? We are. That's right. It's actually coming out this October. In October. It's coming out this October. So nice. we are we are right up there. And, and so is this October, uh, we're obviously seeing the Wii U version right now, but you said yeah. it was a Nintendo exclusive, so there's a 3DS version as well? There is, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. So the 3DS version, plays very similar to the Wii U version, so it's got similar features in that you can walk, you can hold the right trigger to run, you've got the double jump, homing attack. Uh -huh. But the cool part is that every level on the 3DS is different. So when, you, when you're really good at the Wii U version, you can kind of translate those skills over to 3DS. When you pick up that 3DS version later, you're like, oh, I, I know exactly what I'm doing here. But whenever you play the level, the nice part is every single level is different. Every okay. level is brand new. So that's very nice for us from a, a content perspective. Yeah. So you just get, you just get 
the, the chance to flex your creative muscle all the more and create more spots to yeah, shoot Sonic around through cannons. <laughs> in many ways. We love those cannons, man, let me tell you. We also fun. love cookies and donuts and pancakes. And if anyone wants to bring some sweets by the Sega Arcade, I mean, you know, we're not going to complain. I mean, I'm I'll not saying you. that Aaron is promising you'll get a copy of the game early, but, you know. I mean, but, you know, if you want to mail some desserts to us at Sega, we, you know, hey. Bribery can be very <laughs> powerful, especially when it's laced with sugar. <laughs> like like stacks of pancakes that we see right, in the background yeah, here, right? All right, so we've been, it's been like Twizzlers and whatnot. It's yeah. been all this gummy candy and cookies and truffles. Bonbons. Yeah. I got to say, pancakes with syrup on it doesn't really seem to fit in. Well, I got to tell you, man, as all the diabetics of the world will tell you, if you're looking for a source of carbohydrates, in fact, uh -huh. sugar, you know, in syrup is probably one of the most potent ways that you'll find. So I think actually really? of all of these things that we're looking at here, you'll find more carbs in that syrup on those pancakes than you will in any of those truffles. Man, you are just full of fun facts, Aaron. I love it. <laughs> I try, it. man. I try. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're, we're drawing to a close here with Sonic Lost Worlds. We have one more level. We're going to take a quick sneak yeah, peek at Yeah, we're going to check out Frozen Factory next. Okay. Frozen Factory is the brand new level. We weren't showing that off at E3. Yeah. And now it says Frozen Factory. We talked earlier about how we had Desert Ruins, right? Sure. Or Desert Ruins. What do you Frozen, do? Frozen Factory, I'm yeah. imagining. All right, it's a giant freezer with just a bunch of <laughs> freezer burn on stuff, like packages of meat that you're not sure where when it came from. You would, you would think so, Not properly right? labeled. You would think so, but check it out. It's actually a casino level. Oh, so, man. There, how's that for a twist? I mean, now, I, now, don't I do worry. love me a casino level. Don't worry because we've, we, we've got some stuff in there that you probably are expecting when you think of Frozen Factory. But this level in particular is very unique in the sense that the Desert Ruins is very different from a Desert Ruin. Sure. So right here we're running through. This has got a lot of references and nostalgic almost uh, homages back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh -huh. uh, you recognize those bad guys there, the Badniks. That guy's got a shield, so you have to get around behind him to take him out. We've got bumpers everywhere. And we're picking up coins as we go through the level, and we're going to cash those in for points. Yeah, I was going to say, what is this cloud of coins yeah, following is, you? What like, is following Sonic right there? Like some sort of flock of <laughs> currency. Yeah. Yes, it is, it is essentially just a flock of coins and currency. And right there, he charges up that thing, and it propels him forward okay. to the next part of the level. This Sonic part, Pinball! You know, yeah, you've Yay. seen this. And fans will recognize the Sonic and Miles that you see there, the names exact reference to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 uh -huh. with the Sonic and Miles. And what he's got to do is just hit the bumpers Casino a few Night more times. Zone. Yeah, man. See, you know your stuff, too. This is well, good. I know my early Sonic. <laughs> Excellent. That's, that's pretty much it. That's one of the most important parts to know, in my opinion. <laughs> so that's great. And now he bounces on to the next part of the level. And there's another little reference to the old Casino Night Zone. Yeah, yeah, You've got yeah, the roulette the, wheels. The, the one-armed bandits. That's right. And as he goes through, he's going to try and dodge those. He's using the parkour, parkour. the wall run. Yep. Perfect. And here he's going to bounce over some of these. Yeah, ah, perfect. He's oh, going to run up this wall. Looks like one more time because if he can do this right, he's going to wait. But this is really do dangerous. It. You got to watch do out for that. You do not want to get squished. All right, here he goes. So he's going up that wall. And if he can hit those springs, just like that, perfect. It actually propels him forward. And that was a lot go. of propelling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh hard my to gosh. Achieve it. He's bouncing so much. So we're going to count down the numbers here. If he gets the numbers in proper order, three, two, one, then he's going to get an extra life, another little mini challenge, da, da, extra da, da, stuff. Da, 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 and he can da. kick enemies into other enemies. So those big shield guys, you just kick another enemy into it using the Y button and wipe it out. I mean, from it an is, enemy perspective. You know, rude, it is a little rude, but these guys Sonic's are bringing got an attitude, so guns okay. and shields and stuff, and, and yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of unfair, right? Sonic yeah. only has, like, spikes, so I feel like it's all right. <laughs> all right. here we're getting to the end of the level, Yeah. and as we go through, he's going to run up. And oh, you got another bell to kick around. He's got a bell, and those are lasers around him. He doesn't want to touch those things. Those are going to electrocute Come on, him touching and... lasers is the coolest. <laughs> all right, Aaron. I hear all the cool kids, yeah. As we well, draw cool. Sonic Lost World to a close, yes. uh, give the folks again when this game's coming out in October. That's right, coming out this October exclusively on the Nintendo Wii U and 3DS. Fantastic, Aaron. Thank you so much for coming by the Thank stage. Thank you very much. All right, folks. GameSpot's coverage of San Diego Comic Con 2013 continues. We're tossing it over to Homer Rabara, who took a look at the Viz Media booth here on the show floor.